what's up? It's me again, yours truly, and as promised, we are doing a makeup look. <clears throat> now, I haven't done a makeup look in quite some time, so we're just gonna roll with it. I have a, like a new, like the mirrors here. I'm gonna try to utilize it. I always film my makeup looks in the bathroom, and I always like, there's a camera behind, not a camera, there's a mirror behind the camera. Do it like this, and we'll see how it works. So let's just go right ahead and get right into it. First, I'm going to just clean my face off with these Bolero facial wipes from the Dollar Tree. And if I'm looking down, it's because my mirror is right here, and I have like my makeup laid out. Hangover RX primer. Coverage. 
that's it for foundation, for liquid foundation. Um, everything blended out really nice with this beauty blender. So next for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light. This doesn't have a shade, it has a number. This is number two. And the Maybelline Fit Me is in the shade um, Classic Ivory. Okay, so now we're going to um, set that foundation. I have really bad wrinkles under my eyes, so like the better to set. I mean, the quicker to set, the better. And what I use to set that is Wet and uh, Wet and Wild. Um, this is actually a bronzer, but it's light enough to set the under eye. And this is in um, Reserve Your Cabana. My brushes are over here too. And my brushes, I've got them off of Wish and Sephora, and they've came in Ipsy Bag, Dollar Tree, so a lot of them don't have numbers or anything, but I got this one from Wish. This is what I use to set my under eye. This brush here. So next, I forgot my setting powder. I'll be right back. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Color Girl Translucent Powder. This is what I use all the time to set my face. And I just take the puff out and set it in the lid because I have product there already. This I got from Wish. I love this face powder brush. Okay, 
So moving right along, we are going to move on to the eyes. And let me just get my brushes. I love these wet and wild brushes from the Dollar Tree. They are Came out of Wish and it's from Glamour Dolls and it is a number 10. This is one of my favorites too. And I need a lid. This. This one came from Five Below. Okay, so I'm going to be using, I got this from Ipsy a while back ago. This is the Pixie by Petra in Lavender Bloom. And I'm just going to um, use the brown shade that's in here, this shade right here. And I'm gonna pop that into the crease. So I figured that would be like the perfect palette to use and I since I don't have any basically I don't have any purple shades at all so I'm just going to I'm probably gonna get fallout I don't have fix plus or anything like that and I'm gonna use this brush here and we're just gonna use that to pack it on to the lid
And I never, like, I don't like to smoke out my eyes. That's just something I don't like to do. But we have it on. It looks so cute. I love it. So for eyeliner, Okay, so I got my line, eyeliner, and I just used the LA Colors Jumbo Eyeliner, and I put it just like on half of my waterline, I don't put it on my whole waterline, I basically come right to the middle of my eye. And I will occasionally like put a little bit up here, but not a lot either. Only like half the eye. And then bring it out to the corner and then what I like to do after I put the eyeliner on because I don't like it to be um, like really super like on there I will go back in with whatever color I used on my lid and just tap it on that eyeliner just so like the eyeliner is there but then you kind of like blend the eyeliner in with the shade. So I just put a little bit more of this over there. So I don't put, um, I don't do lashes either, but I do want to try the Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara. So we are going to try that. And I usually don't put, um, mascara on my lower lash line either. with this shade right here and we're just going to highlight that inner corner okay guys so um i had to stop because my camera was full so i had to like take some things out of it I'll just fell off the so um the last thing we did was put highlight in the corner of my eyes and i believe Show before it went out, but I just went in with this shade here and just popped it into the corner of my eyes. So that's where we left off. Okay. So 
now we're going to um, contour. I'm going to contour with Benefits Hula. This is a travel size. And I love this contour. So next we will move on to um, bronzer. Now, everybody is all about highlight, no, so highlight. I'm all about bronzer. flat top brush again. to go in with um, blush and blush I'm going to use this palette again and I think we're going to go in with this shade right here so I'm just going to take this elf angled brush but I like bronze better. I'll just pop that in right there. Although I'm not really getting a lot of
scratch that, we're not going to use this highlight because I don't know what is going on. I just don't see it. I'll be right back. Okay, so for highlight, we're going to go in with the Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter. I got this from Ulta. This is in the shade Radiant Lights in a different brush. Just cake this on the brush. And there we go. There we go. That's the type of highlight I'm talking about now. I like them cheekbone. Yes. And then I just take my fluffy brush. Make sure it's all blended together. I also will bring this a little bit on the tip of my nose. And above the cupid's bow. Like it's still there, but do you see it like glowing off me now? Like, hello, can you see me? Okay. And then last but not least, we go in with the lip. This came out of Ipsy Bag, January Ipsy Bag. It is in the shade Desire. And it is a uh, Matte. And there you go. That is the finished look. I think it turned out amazing. And we'll get some different lighting so you can really see what everything looks like. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's check out the uh, reveal shots, shall we?